spend the morning just turning on that tractor and digging some holes and grading the driveway and making it nice real quick. But I figured out last night that I have to add power steering fluid and I figured out also last night while watching YouTube videos about heavy machinery that I need to grease all the pivot points otherwise it messes up the machine. So I bought a grease gun from the hardware store and now I'm at O'Reilly's had to buy a new battery. I'm replacing that and then I'm gonna go back. I thought I could just show up and chainsaw some trees and clear out a driveway, clear a little bit of land, burn the brush and then just dig a hole for the foundation. But it turns out that there is an unlimited amount of side quests to do when you're trying to build a homestead and you're using old tractors and old vehicles. So I am at O'Reilly's right now and I got my new battery on the ground right there. I'm gonna change that out. I'm not gonna film it, but that's what I'm doing. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's time to make this tractor come alive. Well, it's already alive, but I just want to make it a little bit nicer and take care of it how you're supposed to while I own it. So I put in five gallons of gas yesterday and then drove this thing like an hour down country roads and everyone was just chilling on their porch, waving respect to me for driving this 1979 tractor. And it was pretty fun. But first thing we're gonna do, five gallons of diesel. The next thing to take care of is the power steering hydraulic oil stuff. Fortunately, we have a beautiful operator's manual from 1979, and on page 49, it tells you where the power steering fluid reservoir is. I lied, page 56. Here is the power steering reservoir and the filler cap right here, and it says the oil should be level with the bottom of the filler neck. Now here is the power steering reservoir, and here's the cap, and I'm gonna take it off. You might not be able to see it with this camera, but I looked at it yesterday and there is absolutely no power steering fluid in there. The power steering reservoir oil is specced out at Ford M2C41A, which is an old hydraulic oil spec number. Fortunately, Tractor Supply Co. has the right hydraulic oil and it's got the right spec on the back label. Next thing, I'm gonna check the hydraulic fluid in this tank right here. It looks like we're about right here, and full is up here, add oil is here, so we could fill it up a little bit. Luckily, I have a window and door brochure that I can use as a funnel. A little bit more. The next thing I want to tackle right now is greasing these guys. Um, I don't know what they're called, um, but I know that I use a grease gun to push stuff in there. I went to the auto store and I bought a grease gun for like 20 bucks. I bought a flexible hose because I figured it might come in handy. I bought a little bit of brake cleaner to spray off some of the connection points so I don't actually stuff sand in there because that sounds bad too. Got a bucket of grease that the guy gave me and I'm gonna figure this out. I've never done this before and I have no experience with heavy equipment whatsoever. There's no instructions on the box and no instructions on these grease tubes which way it goes so your guess is as good as mine and so I think I just have to like gamble like rip this side off and then maybe it just sticks in there like that I literally have no idea and I have no internet to look it up so I'm gonna give it a shot and if it works it works if not whatever and if anybody has any tips for me or wants to tell me anything clearly I really don't know what's going on here so please let me know if I'm doing something wrong if I should know something because um, it will help me. That just sprayed all over my face. That was fun. I don't know if you just stuff it on there. Boom. Oh, there it is. Nice. There it is. I'll try and use a little bit less next time, but this guy's good to go. Now I'm going to run around and just do this everywhere. There. 
this one's got like little pieces of sand inside of here. This one's got a bunch of sand, so I'm just gonna go in here, try not to spray my face. Boom, clean those out. And then all that sand is just gone. So now I can hopefully just put in grease. Honestly, so far, day two, I think it's very fun. I recommend it. Check out this one right here. I just squeezed so much grease through there on accident. I thought it was supposed to come out the sides, but I guess it's out over there. All right, I went around and greased every single one of these. I found, I think all of them, until a little bit of grease popped out of the side there like that. So nice little grease on all the pivots. Oh man, there he goes. Little baby black bear just ran through the forest. I'm gonna put my food away real quick, close my car, and chill for a minute. I stopped for lunch and I broke out some orange juice and some salami and some deli meat and I was just snacking away. And I know it's pretty common for up here but that's the first bear that I've seen on my property. And he just ran out of the woods, a little black bear. He was like baby black bear earlier this year but he was like a little medium small one. He just ran out in the open and then ran right back in the woods. I'm gonna hang out over here and I just drove my car up a little bit closer and all my windows are now open, closed. There's a little baby right there. Hey buddy, I'm watching you. Hey, hey, this is my house. This is my house. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna back right up, pass my tractor. He's in the woods right now. He smells my food though. That's what he's doing here. I don't know where he went. He's in the weeds over there. I've been keeping everything kind of smelly, except for myself, out of the trailer. So all my toiletries, all my food, my deodorant, toothpaste, uh, floss picks, like literally everything has been in the car for the last couple weeks because, you know, I just don't really want the bear to sniff out my trailer and try and break in there for no reason. So yeah, I've been keeping everything in the car and that is exactly why I have been doing that. But yeah, he smells my food and he wants my salami, um, but he's also kind of scared of me, but I'm kind of scared of mama because she might be around here. I don't know if like mama's separated because he's kind of like a teenager now or what, but um, I'm not really sure what I should do. I don't know if I should drive my truck like through the brush a little bit up here just to like make a bunch of noise and make him scared and run away or if I should fire up my tractor and attack him with my backhoe um but I don't know what should I do what do you guys think I should do should I go back out there and keep working on my tractor or should I run away this may be an unconventional bear scare tactic but here we go let's run over some brush real quick Make some noise, get some scrapes going, drive the truck around in some lumps, hit it reverse. All right, I'm gonna do this quick vlog style and not edit the heck out of it because there's bears around here. So I gotta hop up into my backhoe and I gotta look around, find some starter fluid. And this is how you do it. You pop this open, spray some fluid in there. Now that I am safe in my tractor, um, all you gotta do really is push the brake. You make sure it's in neutral. So we're in neutral right, neutral right here. First gear right here. We gotta give it a little bit of gas 
to start with or a lot of gas. So I'm actually gonna put the fuel, I don't know what this means, but it holds the throttle in a certain position and I'm gonna use my foot to start it up at first. So I'll grab my key. All right, a little more starting fluid. I'm gonna go break down here, full throttle. I'm gonna hit my key until it starts. this stuff over here somewhere and get rid of that and then I'm gonna test out and figure out that power steering issue again. The first thing I noticed after doing that little bit of work is that the hydraulics are working really really well now compared to how they were yesterday and the power steering is awesome it was barely working yesterday and now it's just running like it's brand new i am going to back this thing up put the bucket down get it on level ground and then recheck that power steering oil fluid stuff um, just to make sure that it is good but it's working really nice compared to how it was yesterday This is awesome. I did a quick bucket test right here, scraped the ground, and this entire clump of trees was right here and I just scraped it clean. So this is gonna work awesome on my driveway right now when I'm about to do this.